We go back to round one. John Moore in the near lane, and no problem, but he had a problem right here by virtue of the lane, really. Well, earlier the drivers were saying how nice the facility was. Right now, if you got to run that right lane, it's about as much fun as kissing your sister. Nobody wants to do that. And there is a look at the snake bite, Colt Cobra. And he pulls alongside the big foot Ford, Dan Runty. So it's Ford against Ford here in round two. Notice the yellow light on the right and the orange light on the left. That's a kill equipment we were talking about. Remember the fast loser. We'll come back. Oh, look at that. Snake bite got him. Yeah. Hey, Snake how about bite that? got him. So the streak continues. Every win so far tonight, every win has come out of the same lane. And it looks like Ken Deppie will be our fast loser, entitling him to come back for more competition as once again we take a look at the battle of the boards. Oh, good job. A good hole shot yeah. right there by Snakebite. You got a good race. There's two well evenly matched trucks. The lane's the big difference. Right there is the margin of victory as we go down trackside to visit with our victor, Colt Cobra. I'll tell you what, Colt, I'm going to make it short and sweet. You're putting these other guys in their place tonight. Yeah, Army, I'm trying. Like I said, we had a lot of problems earlier. I think we got them dialed in. Truck's working real good. Ford's making the horsepower. Firestone's putting it to the ground. I'm taking it to the line, and I'm putting them on the trailer. Snake is definitely back. Your truck's over. There's some work going on on Ken Deppie's Dodge Express, who is indeed the fast loser from round two. Army, what can you tell us about that situation? Gary, one of the interesting things about the pairings was the two Fords and two Dodges going against each other in the semifinal. The big question was, who would be the quick loser out of that round? Well, that question has been settled. The Dodge Express of Ken Deppey, he's going into the next round. But as you can see over my shoulder, he and the crew are thrashing. They're trying to figure something out. they got a problem in the left front suspension of the truck. We're going to let them go about their work. We'll keep an eye on things and throw it back up to you, Gary. The semifinals are coming up with two Fords and two Dodges. Stay with us. More coming your way on Trucks and Tractor Power. The Ozark Empire Fairgrounds are in Springfield, Missouri for the Penda Monster Truck Thunder Drags. This event is put on by the same group that brings you the four-wheel and off-road jamborees. And Army, as you know, those jamborees feature a host of great participant and spectator activities, as well as the great racing you see right here on Trucks and Tractor Power. And speaking of great racing, it's time for the semifinals with two Fords and two Dodges. First, it's Barefoot, the Dodge, against Snakebite, the Ford. Well, this is what the people buy the tickets to see. These guys are starting to develop followings. People are starting to pull for them, whether you like one or the other, your manufacturer, personalities, or what have you. But when it comes down to this point in time, it's just a four-way shootout, Gary. But we have seen throughout the weeks the, the coming of the Dodge, the coming of Fred Schaefer and his operation. More competitive every week. And now Ken Deppie in the Dodge Express as well. Chrysler Corporation is coming out and going after Ford. They realize that this monster truck, the identity here, basically in a nutshell, you win with the monster truck, you're going to sell the new Dodge to Colters. That's exactly, that's what the That has been the, the philosophy of motorsports sure. for the last uh, about 10 decades exactly. or so. Since the car first came out, they started racing like at Indianapolis in 1911. There's a shot from inside the cab of Fred Schaefer. Oh, Schaefer does the wheelie, and that cost him the win. Boy, the kid out of Colorado takes the big Ford into the next round, Gary. Colt Cobra took advantage of that big wheelie that Fred pulled in no man's land. That sets up half the final. It's going to be a Ford. Who's going to go in the other lane? Well, before we find that out, we'll take a look once again Which at this victory for Colt Cobra. But here in no man's land, watch Fred pull the front end. Sure, he was trying to go after him, but once again, Gary, so far tonight, every race has been won out of that lane. So it's imperative to have the quickest run for lane yeah, selection. Exactly. If I drew that other lane, I'd just take the tires off and go home, I think. No, nah, you wouldn't. If you're a racer, you're going to be competitive no matter what lane. You're going to give it your best shot right here. Here's a happy winner. Hey, what? You just put one of the big Dodge boys away. Yeah, those Dodge boys, when they come here, they mean business, but this just goes to prove that... Uh, when we're going out, we're giving 110% because they're giving 100%. And we're coming out on top tonight. You know, Gary, one of the things I was noticing, look here on his helmet. Not only says his Simpson, this is the philosophy of the whole team. No fear. Well, now it's going to be, again, Dodge versus Ford. There's Ken Deppie, the Dodge Express. They've hammered out that front suspension problem, and he is ready to meet up against Andy Brass in Wildfoot. The winner, of course, will meet Snakebite for the championship. 
And of course, Andy has that quick lane, the far lane. Earlier, Army caught up with Brass, who had these comments prior to the semis. Andy, it's almost weird how this pairing's coming down with Dodge and Ford. It is, you know, it's, it's been real, real high racing tonight, you know, and the Dodge has been running real well. Ford's been running well, well. You know, we've been doing a good job with it. Thanks to guys like MSD Ignitions, you know, BDS Blowers and stuff like that. We're producing some good horsepower out here tonight. The track's starting to bite good. You know, the Firestones are doing us a good job out here. And all we can do is, is go on into the next round. I think we've got lane choice. We pulled a fast time that round. So we're going to try to play a little head game, so I'm in the other lane, work with them on the light a little bit, and pull them down through the track. Well, the fans love the competition, and the competition gets tighter every week. And uh, Wildfoot's in the good lane. I'll be up front with you on this one. Yeah, if you're going to bet a shilling, bet on Wildfoot yeah. in the far lane. That's, that's saying nothing against the Dodge. That's just laying it on the table. Oh. Over the crush camp. Good run for Ken Deppie, but once again, it was at far lane. We got an all-four final, Gary Lee. The question is, who is the quickest? Who gets the good lane? Well, that's the question. I had the answer. Andy turns a 526, bettering his overall quick ET. That means he will have lane choice, and guess which lane he is going to take. Army? Ken Deppie can rock and roll with the best of them, can he, Andy? Yeah, he can. You know, we've been watching Ken there earlier. He's been turning in some good times with the truck. You know, that's one of Fred's old trucks. The truck proved itself last year, you know, so all he had to do was get him a good driver. I think Ken is doing a good job of driving. We've been watching the track, watching his times. We knew we had to go out there and run hard. We pulled it through with the Ford. It's going to be an all-Ford final from Springfield, Snakebite, and Wild Empire Fairgrounds in Springfield, Missouri for the Penda Monster Truck Thunder Drags. And it all comes down to this, one last pass for the championship. Yeah, and it's it'll go down in history, Gary, as the night that Lanes won and lost a monster truck race. Because so far, every win, every win has come out of the same lane, Gary Lee. That's the first time, I think, ever in monster truck competition that's happened. And during the break... Arma, you spoke with both the drivers going into the finals. Cole Culver built this truck to prove that he could be the best Ford monster truck in the country. Well, time to lay the cards on the table, Cole. Yeah, definitely the cards are on the table. Uh, we made it this far going into the final round there with Wildfoot, another good running forward. Definitely a hard card. Like I said earlier, 110% is what it's going to take to win here today, and this truck right here is definitely 110% snake all the way. Gary, I'm standing down in the pit area with Andy Brass, and Andy, very bluntly, this guy says he can handle you tonight. Well, like I said, we've been watching the snake truck air all night tonight. He's been turning out some good times. We've been turning out good times with this one. You know, the truck's running good for us, you know. It is a two-forward final, so that's all I'm really looking at. I'm glad to see that, you know, but I think we're going to have to take, we're going to concentrate on it. We're going to pull a lane choice on him, put him over in a bad lane right now. He's been running the left lane all night. We're going to put him in the right lane, play a little head games with him. I'm going to pull him down through there. The strategy is... Well rehearsed. Oh, the strategy is the same. He says the same thing over because he does the same thing over, and he keeps winning, so I wouldn't change anything myself, Andy. And, of course, he's the quick one, so he has lane choice, far lane, Andy Brass. Hey, we do have a race, so check this out. And it is. Yeah, it is Andy, though, but, boy, he had all he could handle. He could hear that snake, snake hissing, yeah. He could hear the old snake hissing on him. Andy Brass by what? A fender. A fang, buddy. A fang and no more. <laughs> he defanged the snake bite on that one. So here in Springfield, you can hear the fans cheering. They're very happy for Wildfoot and Andy Brass. We take one more look. It was a side-by-side -side shootout that went the distance. Well, Cole Cobra, come out of there with him, Gary. Take another look, and uh, once again, about a fender was the difference. In the far lane as we go down to victory lane and Andy Brass. Andy, congratulations, but answer a question to me. How do you guys get these big 10,000-pound trucks to move so quick off that starting line? You were doing a wheelie. Well, that's thanks to guys like BDS, MSD Ignition, Firestone Tires. You know, we're building some horsepower with the with the motor here. You know, we're running a Ford Hemi here, which a lot of people are really having a lot of doubts about it. But the motor's been doing us a real good job. You know, and thanks to the guys, we're building horsepower with the motor. And thanks to guys like Firestone Tires there, you know, we're putting all the horsepower to the ground, pulling them off the pulling off the line real well you know we going down between the cars the track's been getting a little tacky tonight so we've been pulling some good traction down through there and we're just cutting some real nice times tonight we've talked a lot army about the roll and throw but the best place to do that tonight was in the far lane every victor came from the far lane a first time ever in monster truck competition they're coming right at you now as we take a look once again from the crush cam 